A Matt, 18. Hate stairs. Hate stand up comedy. <laughs> Well, I can see why. I'm glad. So tell me, why is the air conditioning in hospitals? Why? To keep the vegetables cool and fresh. Yep, already like ya. Me too. Hey, Anda. Anda one, Anda two, Anda one, two, three, four. <laughs> Comedy. Name puns are a make or break on Tinder. You, they have to be really clever or else you're just, you ain't getting nothing, son. Hey, how are you? I'm good, thanks. What about you? Not too bad. So, what do you do in life? Collage, what about you? Do you mean college or do you stick pieces of paper together for a living? Because if it's the latter, she I love that. Tinder profile red flags. Make every picture a headshot to hide your weight. Use the dog face filter to hide your nose. Include a more attractive friend in every picture. Bait and switch. Picture from far away so he can't make out details. Picture of some trees or sand or other crap that isn't you. Forget the picture entirely. This dude straight up stuck two tennis balls in his shirt and used the Snapchat filter. I'm dying here, LMAO. Listen, that's just a that's just a lovely lady with some green old biddies. Kind of quirky, but I'll play. Are you a bank loan? Because you've got my interest. Nah, I'm student loans because I'll screw you for the next 15 years. And that's oddly romantic. He's in it for the long run. So I lost an 8th grade presidential election 5 years ago and my friend just found the guy who beat me on Tinder. University of Delaware, 22, computer science linguistics. Still part of the time I became class president just to beat someone I found mildly annoying. Get wrecked, Megan. Destruction 100. Hey, hey, do you know what bees make? Honey? Yes, dear. Hey, do you know what bees make? Some stupid annoying sound. What the frick do you want? Honestly, depending on my mood, either of those are me. Maybe both at the same time if I like to switch it up, but... Shh, don't tell no one about that. Screw the burrito, marry the grilled cheese, kill the bacon and egger. Ooh, I don't like how that sounds. I don't like, I don't like the word egger. Don't include that. That's, f that's, 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 that's some risque stuff. Nice, I have the same answer. So, the real question is, are you gonna be my burrito or my grilled cheese? I'll be your burrito and we can see how that goes. That was smooth as frick. Really? On a scale of 000 000 000 000 to 999 how smooth? And then she gives her number followed by smooth. Hey blank, this is an automated message to remind you of your Netflix and chill appointment this week. To confirm your appointment, text yes daddy. To cancel, text wrong hole. Thank you. Thank you for your inquiry. This bot has not yet been programmed to process such advanced texts. To receive memes, text meme. To be transferred to a live operator, text I'm lonely. We hope we have been of assistance. I'm lonely. Not being six foot is normally a deal breaker, but for you I'll make an exception. Not being 125 pounds is normally a deal breaker, but for you I'll make an exception. Pineapple on pizza. When I am emperor of England, this will be punishable by death. I see. But I may show mercy on beautiful women. Well, that's a relief. You will not be spared. <laughs> Wench. Vivian is 24. Just before I die, I'm gonna swallow a bag of popcorn kernels to make the cremation a bit more interesting. Ooh. Me looking at screenshots of girls talking to guys on r slash tinder. Looks like fun. Wish I could have some. Redownload again? I like your new pick. I posted our original conversation on Reddit. It got 28,000 upvotes. You're lying. You're basically famous. Screenshots or it didn't happen? Crap, girl, let me get your number and I'll send it over. And that's a smooth, that's a sly move, you sly dog. After you eat her butt and she says she don't suck wiener. <laughs> After all I did for you. You won't give me this one thing. All I wanted. <laughs> you match with Emma. Emma! Jill! I need your help kidnapping Elon Musk. She's here for a month with two friends. I wonder what could possibly happen next. <gasps> He matched with another friend. Isa, I also need your help kidnapping Elon Musk. We have more chances of success if there's three of us. Is Emma the third person? Obviously. I'm still trying to find your other friend to super like her too. Our four person team will be unstoppable. Good luck. Thanks. <gasps> he got the third friend. <gasps> oh my God, are you the third friend? Francesca says yes. Do we finally have our Elon Musk kidnap squad together? Francesca says, haha, yes. OMG, how long did it take you to find me? Too long, Francesca. Too damn long. I have a knock-knock joke, but you have to start it. Knock-knock. Who's there? My erection. <laughs> they both point at each other. Chelsea, 19. Every single time a man sleeps with a lot of women, he's called a stud. But if a woman sleeps with a lot of men, she's called a tramp. And people think this is unfair? Nah, it's completely fair. And I'll tell you why, alright? Cause it's freaking easy to be a tramp. It's freaking hard to be a stud. To be a stud, you have to be witty, charming, be dressed, have nice shoes, and a fake job. To be a tramp, you just had to be there. There are fat, ugly tramps out there. There are not fat, ugly studs. Listen, Chelsea, I'm here to change the game. <laughs> I will be the first... <laughs> 
<laughs> the world's first fat, ugly stud. They're making a Disney movie about it. That is a Snapchat filter if I've ever seen one. Nice try, my man. You're the first in 115 matches to notice. No freaking way. Really? That's jokes. What's the best message you've gotten? One guy asked me what my favorite part of a man's body is. I said, I do like my wiener. Still didn't figure it out. <laughs> Your jokes. All right, bro, good luck with this. Well, this girl's a flight attendant and she has to say to hijack my heart? Well, that's cute. I like how you're bringing your profession into this. <gasps> a flow chart? I love these. All right, online dating and then you swipe. No matches, you got a couple options. Let's take option one. I'm gonna pay for a boost. Uh, no matches. All right, so we're gonna pay to see likes. They live 5,000 miles away. And just like with no matches, I can cry, focus on myself, become lonely two weeks later, and well, the cycle starts yet again. Fun fact or bad pickup line? Fun fact about me is I have a private Snapchat if you're interested. <laughs> sure. It's $25 a month for multiple naked pics and vids every day. I also do special requests for negotiable prices. All right, that's cool and all, but did you know that ostriches have to swallow small rocks and pebbles to crush up their food because they don't have teeth? Requirements. Beating heart. A kiss will make my whole day. One will make my whole week. <sighs> nice one. Cool. Thanks. Hey, I like your glasses. They're not for sale. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you right there. Natalie. And on the seventh day, God said, Let Natalie have huge boobs. Hey, wanna skip the small talk? Grab some coffee and see if we hate each other? Sounds better than the alternative, LMAO. Cool, are you free tomorrow? Indeed I am. Perfect. Time and place? How's the Starbucks in the blank in the Target shopping center at 3 p.m. work? Sounds good with me. And if I show up and you just murder me, that's also fine. All right, I'll give you a heads up if I'm going to, though. Please don't, I'd really rather be a surprise. Your photos are surprisingly high quality for Tinder. Are you real? Hey, Liam. I want to smash strangers who are also very skilled and intimate in bed. If you are of the same interest like mine, if you are of the same interest like mine, well, spare time meeting me at www. I'm totally kidding. I'm not a bot. I hope you read this far.com and try if we're really compatible to have an intimate and unforgettable experience in bed. <laughs> oh God, I'm very glad I actually read it. The slightly off grammar is the icing on the cake. Blank. This is Blank's mom. Blank. I have her phone. She is 16 and not allowed to date someone 20. She will be in touch to explain. Oh, holy crap, I'm sorry, I did not know this. Did she tell you she was older? Yes, that was the impression. She just graduated 10th grade. Did you meet at blank or tender? Tinder, her profile said she was 18, so I never assumed otherwise. I'm sorry. That is a yikers, fellas. As a general rule, with how scary Tinder can be, ID girls who look young. Just ID him. It might feel intrusive, but stay safe, fella. Stay safe. ID him. I am a real human man. I work person job at Company Inc. Real human man likes doing human things like consuming flesh of animals, breathing oxygen, and walking on leg. I'd match. Let's debate on where our first date's gonna be. My vote goes for Papa John's. Damn, I pegged you for better than that. I haven't had pizza in months. I'm feeling homesick. Domino's counteroffer. Okay, step up. We're getting there. Italian for dinner. You for dessert. There it is. Jesus. I need you in my life. Are you sure that's all you need me in? LMAO, what else you're trying to get in? Let me put it this way. We'll both have a second coming. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did he get in though? Chris is 18. If you like jocks, I play golf, volleyball, and badminton. If you don't like jocks, I play golf, volleyball, and badminton. And he's an all around good guy. Here's a free super like we have Alexa, Lua, Hannah, and Cat. Oh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'd go with Cat. Just a girl looking for someone to drive me around while I stick my head out of the window and demolish mailboxes with my freaking head. And that's a keeper, cause she might be a little slow, but she is loyal. And that is all we ask for in this world. Cause I is 25, and she's looking for someone who'll screw me over. Preferably someone who isn't looking for a relationship, must be six foot two and must be a massive C. If you want a tramp, buy her. If you want a queen, earn her. If you want a dumb bro, well ye freaking huh. Gotta love the yeehaw agenda leaking its way into Tinder all the time. Can someone give me the directions to this sunflower field with all the single ladies in it? Huh, yeah, there are an awful lot of single women in this sunflower field. My bios is accounting major, but I swear I'm fun. Are you fun though? Well, I'm up past my bedtime, so you could say I'm a bad boy. Also, I'm heavily addicted to cocaine. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I don't have a bedtime. LMAO, wow, you're cute for a crackhead. Tell me your secret. Promise not to tell anybody? Long naps and avocado face masks. That's our secret though, I can't have all the other crackheads looking normal, I'll lose my advantage. Well, this is awkward. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. You gotta unmatch one of them in quick, choose which one you like the least. Wanna have a napping competition? Heck yeah, I'm so down. What will it be based on? Length? Quality? Speed of falling asleep? Sorry, I just woke up from my nap. Must have been a good nap. I'd offer to take you out, but I don't know if I'd be able to pay. You'd have to bring your money. Oh well, why wouldn't you be able to pay? I'm hoping that you was a joke. On a scale from 1 to 10, what's your IQ? I'm not dumb, but I'm not a genius either, so maybe a 7 or 8, lol. Oh, your money, no. No, 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 no. You fell right for his trap card. 
Your profile is basically me, but with a penis. Sounds like I have what you're missing. Touche. What kind of pickup line do you prefer? Give me your best one. ZA1JT53HKB7VX9GTQL75. And that was one take. That was one take. I'm a god. I'm lost. That's the Wi-Fi password so that you have it when you come over. If the dog is there, count me in. Bring the pussy and it's a date. Where you come from, bro? I, I thought I was just said to women. Well, now, what's good? Uh, just chilling. Who? What's good with you, buddy? Yeah, same crap. Freaking around on here. This is actually kind of whack, though. Dude, I'm set to chicks within one mile, and I get a fucking bro from who knows where, lol. Well, I mean, I wouldn't have swiped right on a dude in the first place, lol. <laughs> Tinder's scheming on us. You smoke weed? Frick yeah. And then after that, best friends for life. <laughs> the best bonding experience, just unexpectedly meeting on Tinder. A serious question. If we go on a date, can we order dessert first? What kind of man would I be if I said no to desserts first? But are you the dessert then? Ha, <laughs> nice try. What kind of dessert would you like then? Whipped cream on your- Yeah, I'd like some whipped cream on your schlong. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm lost. I mean, what do you work? I'm in the army. Oh, how good. I'm a nurse. Are you fluent in both Spanish and English? Fluently only Spanish. English is not spoken. There, there might be a communication barrier between us then. A wall, if you will. <laughs> oh no. Happy New Year. Happy Chinese New Year. Happy Persian New Year. Happy Bolognese New Year. Yeah, April Fools, it's actually the Chaldean Babylonian New Year. I can't, I can read. But have a happy one. <laughs> Lol, sorry, I know this is super random, but you look so familiar, I feel like I've seen you before. Um, I don't know where I would have known you from. Did you recently take something 210 recently? The last semester. Ah, oh, frick. Wait, were you my TA? Lamal. TA, oh, that's a tutor? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> oh no. And here we have a message to Jesse saying, Since you're Jesse, can I be your buzz with the wrong your? I, I, I hate you. Uh, do you mean Woody? <laughs> Either way. Lamau, do you not even know the plot of Toy Story? Like the frick? Yes, I do. I very much enjoy all three of them and can't wait for the four. But Woody and Jesse have more of a brother sister relationship, whereas Buzz and Jesse is more of a romantic one. Also, Woody has both peep. Okay, get caught up. Come on, this is, this is important. How do you not know this? Disgusting. Like you have a picture of these two women. Um, wh which one are you, Amber? Who? The one with the tits. Okay. <laughs> Bit mean, but fair enough. It narrows it down. A dad joke or a pickup line? <laughs> a dad joke. Bring the heat, lol. What did the shy pebble want to be when he grew up? A little boulder? Nope, a rock star. And you shouldn't Google any guy's pickup lines, lol. That's all we have on Tinder, okay? Don't take this away from us. Okay, here we have Emma, 24. Um, and a picture that really brings out her eyes. 500 characters isn't really enough to demonstrate my wit and intelligence so just look at my banging tits for now with pleasure okay and here we have um censored out name 20 years old saying let's have a who's better in bed contest i'm hoping to be a sore loser nice and we've got Brittany, 27 um i'm the good thing that small packages come in hell yeah boys we found one what six inches and disappoints you cold cut from subway if you think i'm six inches you're sorely mistaken okay i'm much smaller here we have d 20 years old 127 k's away on tinder to make friends the same way you're on pornhub to watch the plumber repair the sink do you want a cheesy pickup line, a roast, or do you want to roast me? I guess I want to roast. Your lack of confidence shows in both your response and Tinder pics. Alright, so already regretting the roast, I thought you'd call me like four eyes or something and not see into the deepest parts of my soul. Oof, that did not go as planned. We've got Daniel, 32. I made the front page of Reddit three times, and that's also my greatest accomplishment in life. Well, more times than me, my friend. Hey, are you lost, ma'am? Because heaven is a long way from here. I've read some of the Bible, and I definitely don't think I'm going to heaven. Huh, well, if we're both going the same way, would you like to carpool? Next, we've got Ollie saying, if you were a vegetable, you'd be a cucumber. <laughs> me, a girl who's bad at pickup lines. If I were a vegetable, I'd prefer you pull the plug. I don't actually get that one. <laughs> Just pretend I get that one. Hi there. Hello there. That's such a beautiful name. Love the pics. Thanks for saying hello. Thanks. I just got back on here for the first time, so I'm a little overwhelmed, lol. Huh, why so overwhelmed? All the guys swiping right on you? Yep, I'm having to beat them off with sticks. Well, oh, well, you can just use your hand if you beat me off. That was good. <laughs> mm, incredible insight, Michael. That was good. Brilliant. So what's the Japanese on your bio say? <laughs> it just says otaku, lol. Oh, I learned this. Um, blah, blah, blah. And here we've got, oh my wa, more which translates to 
two, I like big tits. It means your eyes are like the moon, which I think is beautiful. Oh wait, that's really cute. Do you know how to say it? Maybe you could tell me that over coffee. <laughs> sure, anytime. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Why haven't you texted me? Firstly, this isn't Tinder, I just want, anyway. Why haven't you texted me today? Because you told me you're not interested in me anymore. Ah, and here we've got no fat checks. I'm super into working out, lifting weights, being healthy is my biggest passion in life. I like a girl that's into fitness like me and works out at least once a week. I mean, that's not like a gym junkie. Working out once a week is, you know, like you dabble, but you're not like a gym junkie if you go once a, whatever. And yeah, sadly, somehow I'm fat, but I believe healthiness is a lifestyle. I work out with extreme intensity every day. Okay, fair enough then. I don't know how I'm fat, to be honest. I'm down to date a fat girl as long as she exercises like me, but there's no way a girl can work out as much as me and still be fat. My fatness is a legit a mystery. I shouldn't be fat. Thank you, Leo, for letting this wisdom upon me. People don't call me wise for nothing. I mean, they don't really, but my mum said I'm smart, so same thing really. Yeah, mums don't lie. Oh, funny, because my mum also said that you'd be down to grab a drink sometime. They better have, like, they've, come on, <laughs> that that deserves good luck, my friend. Oh, we can listen to that together, though. I'm down. Hell yeah. What are you up to right now, besides living the dream on Tinder? Being real with you, listening to the same song on repeat and playing Minecraft. Oh, I could freak you right now. <gasps> I wish that was me. Here we've got Shelby, 20, saying, you have to marry someone, you know you'd still be down to frick in the laundry room real quick while the kids are downstairs watching The Lion King and 10 minutes are left until the dinosaur nuggets are ready to come out of the oven. Shout out Whole Foods. Always love that place. Fair enough. <laughs> Hello, Laura. You look pretty fly. Aeroplane. Hey, sorry if that opening pun was a, l a little plain. No problem. I was just winging it. So where are you from? <laughs> I see none of those jokes really took off. That's awful. Wow, it's like talking to a brick wall. That's terrible. Oh, I feel for this guy. You take me on a date wearing your heelys so I know it's real. As long as I can keep them on during sex. Oh, that's what I meant. I just didn't want to sound like a wire. I don't think there's anything wrong with sounding like a wire. All right, freak me in your heelys so I know it's real. Give me any topic and I'll turn it into a pickup line. Hot pockets. Reasons going on a date with me is like making a hot pocket. One, you'll think it's a good idea until it's in your mouth. Two, you'll hate yourself after. Three, you'll do it again anyway. Wow, talk about art. You're good. I also do haikus. We should smoke some weed and get to know each other. Then hot pockets. Wink. I usually only make pancakes after sleepovers. I like sleepovers and breakfast, so win-win. Perfect. Know any games we can play? A twister is always a hit at sleepovers. A right hand pink? Mm. Nice. Nice. I, yeah, nice. Nice. Look, I'm just here looking for a gamer girl. Uh -huh. Well, you found her, I suppose. You got a Steam ID? Nah, not PC. Well, this was a short relationship. Her bio said that her skin tasted like candy. I was concerned and then things escalated. Hey, listen, I'm no doctor, not yet at least, but if you taste like candy, then you might have acute febrile neurophilic dermatosis or something, I don't know. Not necessarily dangerous, but it could be a symptom of bowel cancer. Lol, you're funny, daddy. And now I am someone's father, if you wanna be. The kids are expensive, Krista. Do you think we can financially support a family? I want you to financially support me while I pleasure you. I feel like we're not on the same page here. We, we should get on that page. That seems like quite a good page that she's on. You should probably turn to that one. Living life with a brain tumor. Swipe left if that bothers you. I guess I should update this. Now living life with a smaller tumor after brain surgery and it turns out I have brain cancer. I'd like something serious, but let's be real. Who wants to date a girl with low stamina, trouble walking or standing for long periods of time? I'm hoping to beat my battle with cancer, but I'm not getting any younger to wait around for love. Still swipe left if that bothers you. Okay, well that was <laughs> a drastic change of tone. Um, yeah, geez, that was like weirdly wholesome but kind of sad good luck ali <laughs> let's all wish ali good luck in the comments okay good cheers i'm not good at being serious well now i just sound racist i don't want to know what came before that i am <laughs> ignorance is bliss yes and one more you were close dominican nope lol tell me what your other half is maybe over dinner i wish that what nasa calculated that using pi to 40 digits can accurately measure the circumference of the observable universe but it only takes 10 of your digits to potentially create the new big bang are you a toaster because i'd be down to take a bath with you are you death because i've been longing for your sweet embrace are you a gun because i'd be down to put you in my mouth and play with the trigger are you a noose because i want you to choke me are you a car because i want to get inside you and hit a wall <laughs> are you a murderer because i actually want to die dude not gonna lie tough couple months
Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> what else can you do with your eyes closed? I can pray. Well, what's your favorite eyes closed activity? Driving. <laughs> Teach me something about anything. Salvador Dali used to have women part their butt cheeks and sit on clay in order to track the unique folds of the anus. <laughs> Karina invited you to start the chat. You see, what he found is that no matter the social class, they tended to have 35 to 37 folds, each as unique as a fingerprint. So basically, what I'm trying to say, can I eat your ass? Haha. <laughs> Sure. I mean, you're nice, 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 nice. If you were a soup, what kind of soup would you be? I don't know. What kind? Oh, this this isn't a joke or a pickup line. It's a chance for you to take part in a self-reflection exercise where you take a look at your qualities and make a decision on what soup best represents those qualities. Take this seriously and we may both learn some things about you. Corn chowder. Are you down to smash? S. Spend quality time together. Make memories. Anal. Uh, smile and laugh and have a wonderful time. Do you want to frick? Feel emotionally connected, understand each other, communicate, and off ourselves. Now you're speaking my language. If video games made children more violent, then why do they keep losing fistfights against me? Weak idiot children, play more Fortnite. Working on it. Okay, okay, huh? You won't take my card, sorry doll. Aw, what type of card did you use? Amex? Chase? Wells Fargo? Library. Really? You're a virgin? And I liked your bio. Thanks, and yeah, I'm not good with people, so... Gotcha. I want to take your virginity. I'm glad to know someone does. Yeah, how big is your duck? Schlong, I mean. Probably average. I'm Asian, can't expect much. What, like seven inches or something? Oh boy! Here we have someone, 20 years old. Um, I used to work at a subway, so I guess you could say I'm an expert with six inch. I also make really good sandwiches. Next up on the bill, Cody, 27. Funny, smart, the occasional drink, memes. I want to do adult things with you, whispers. Taxes. Pay the mortgage. Make sure we turned off all the lights. Our electricity bill was 300 freaking dollars this month. Do you even work out? <laughs> or shave, Kian? Wait, am I getting roasted right now? It looks like you were just flexing with that weight to make it seem like you work out and then post a pic of your body and act like you're freaking ripped when you're actually really not. Also, a tan and fresh shave is needed, <laughs> you frick. I need the beard to cover how disgustingly ugly and deformed I am, just like you and that dog filter. Hmm. Right, here we We've got attempt number one. No point in pleasantries. One a frick. You're not nearly good looking enough to approach people like that. You throw enough crap at a wall and some of it will stick. And attempt number two. No point in pleasantries. One a frick. Yeah. Only if you wear that England shirt while we do it. Deal. It's got Pickford's name on it, but I'm sure we can let that slide. <laughs> Even better. Means you're a keeper. I don't know. Is this a like f f football reference? I'm not. <laughs> I don't know what this means. I and don't worry. There'll be a clean sheet. Nothing wrong with getting a bit dirty. I'm not picky food. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. Hell yeah. I think you may have been my 8th grade civics What? Um, no. Is that you? Yes, it is. Pretty crazy that we were a match on here. I used to have such a boyhood crush on you. Oh, that's cute. I was a lot younger then. I think a lot of boys had a crush on me. But tell me, are you still hot for teacher? Bruh. Okay, we've got Ashley saying, you must make girls weak in the knees. All I did was look at you and I, d I don't think I'll ever walk again. Vodka, lol, what lit up, what? Lol, let's kick it. Oh, sorry, I passed out. No problem. How tall are you? I'm 5'9". How much do you weigh? Haha, <laughs> wow, didn't your mum teach you never to ask that? I thought we were playing the shallow question game. Uh, what cup size? Some people call me Leonardo da Vinci, though. Yeah, I believe you. She, she, she doesn't believe you. You have to ask why. Oh, crap, my bad. Why? Because I'll make you moan, Alyssa. You cannot. I'm, I'm dead. She broke. I've never heard that one. Congrats. You freaking win. What's the prize? I don't know. Probably my heart or something. I'm deleting this app. So what's your story? Uh, in West Philadelphia, born and raised, on the playground is where I spend most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, and shooting some people outside of the school. When a couple of guys who are up to no good... Started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mum got scared and said, You're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Well, damn, that is a story. <laughs> I'm glad you're safe. I'm from Texas. <laughs> School and sports are why I'm here in this year. That's brilliant. Oh my. 
Yeah, fair. <laughs> okay, if I could get a response, that would be nice, let alone a response to this. Like, bro, you don't know how good you have it. Her first message was, hey. Hey, I was gonna ask you to the movies, but then I remembered you weren't allowed to bring your own snacks. Mm hmm smooth. Thanks, I'd be willing to risk getting kicked out for you though. Oh, I think I might, it, there's an implied B there, on my way to hospital. Why? Because I broke my back from carrying this conversation. Hey girl, are you a toaster? Because I want to take you in the bathtub with me. Um, showers are better than baths. Are you a shower? Because I want to spend 30 minutes in you and come back tomorrow. That's better, lol. It turns out we're both Brooklyn Nine-Nine fans. Don't swipe right if you're here for some lame-ass hookup. Title of your sex tape. I'm sorry, but I had to say it. Haha, <laughs> currently trying to make something of myself. Title of your sex tape. A noise burn. I feel... Attacked. I feel attacked. Title of your sex tape. Stop. Stop. Title of your sex tape. Got unmatched within seconds. Hell yeah. Okay, there was a message that was cropped out and followed by my motto. Um, 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 it's motto. You see, I learn every day. Thanks. Sorry, I didn't want to offend you. Why would I be offended? Learning every day is a good thing, right? Peep usually take offense. Uh, people. And she unmatched within seconds, so by people she means I. You usually take offense. Fair. Alex, I wrote you a poem. Roses are red, you're cute as a duck, let's go on a date, and then we can cuddle. Aren't you forgetting something on the last line of that poem? Huh, you're probably right. I'm, I mean, we should probably change the ending to make it rhyme. Okay, how's this? Roses are red, your date idea sounds alright, but please don't leave me disappointed at the end of the night. Roses are red, you sure have some sass. I hope you're this feisty when I'm tapping that ass. Roses are red. I will shiver you right down to the core. Please you like no one and leave you begging for more. But first you must please my intellect and then you can tap my ass. I'm not sure if you're ready for this naughty girl's sass. I can be a bit to handle. Don't be distracted by my ambitions and drive. Are you up to a challenge? Or will you back down and hide? Promises, promises, don't threaten a good time. I hope you can deliver better than you can rhyme. Your sharp intellect, I can certainly please. If that's all it takes, you'll soon be on your knees. I won't be distracted, I can handle mine. How about we settle this over a bottle of wine? Oh man, Dr. Seuss out here getting that cake! Hey, hey, I'm a therapist as well. It's the best job ever. Yup, I'm also an analyst. Oh, wow, very cool. What do you analyze? I'm a combo of both. Analysis and therapist. I'm probably the only... Oh, oh my god, I can't, I can't say that. I'm... <laughs> I mean, that's a very demonetized word. Okay, um... Yeah, let's leave that one, <laughs> let's leave that one there and just, and just move on to the next. You can stop swiping now. You found the one. Probably don't even want a relationship, lol. Okay, okay, just one second. It's rewind. rewind. Sup you little thought, I eat art. Okay, here we have the guy's profile. Six foot two. Okay, good, he's got his priorities in order. Most guys will ask you boring questions like, what's up, or how are you? But I like to ask more thoughtful questions like, what is the name of your first pet? Or what is the name of the street you grew up on? Or what is your mother's maiden name? Or what are the three digits at the back? What's a pirate's favorite letter, girl? <laughs> Best pickup line. Err, duh. Yeah, might think that, but his first love, be the sea. Well, shit. Punny pirate jokes. You keep making yourself look better and better. Well, I wish that was me. It's all a ruse, I assure you. I don't know if I believe that. Nothing beats a good pun. <laughs> My dad might if the pun didn't get good, good grades. Dad, I'm sorry. You super liked Poppy on blah, blah, blah. So I think you should know I had a dog called Poppy. Provided you respond the same way to peanut butter, I, I think we'll be fine though. How much does a polar bear weigh? Enough to break the ice. You'd think that, but no. Polar bears live on ice. That'd be pretty freaking dumb if they fell through it all the time. In your opinion, is it sexier to set up your Hot Wheels track before or after the sex? Please, it's very important. Well, well, definitely during intercourse. A quick pit stop during a quickie. I disagree. I would say after. Otherwise, I'd be thinking about playing with them the whole time. Okay, I have a question for you. You arrive at a birthday party and are handed a paper plate with a slice of cake and a scoop of ice cream. Do you ask for a fork or a spoon? I mean, obviously a fork is better for cake, but a spoon is better for ice cream. But since ice cream isn't soupy or anything, using a fork wouldn't really cause an issue because it wouldn't fall through the fork holes. So my answer is fork. Congratulations, you've passed the test. 
If you disagreed, I was going to suggest we could have sex twice, once where we could take a break and set up our Hot Wheels, and another time where we could wait until it's all over and see who's correct, and then afterwards we can eat cake and ice cream with forks, you know, for science. Well if it's for scientific research then what are we waiting for? Set up the Hot Wheels already. And then going from that to an infinitely s a smoother talker saying, Bibi let me make your gum. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, let me check with my mum. Oh, she said no, sorry bro, I'm not this time, maybe on the weekend or something. Oh, no. I'll do my chores. Okay, we've got Emily here. I think your name is misspelled. Lol, tell my mum that. Alright. Can I have her number? Okay, I'm sure there's a your mum joke in there somewhere. But, but I can't be bothered, okay, you guys can do that, that's all yours. Am I 20 days too late? You're too attractive for me to wait 20 days to respond to that message. No. You're not. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Sorry, I suck at replying. Can we start over? Yeah, for sure. I'll even let you message first this time. Okay, okay, cool. Hi. Did that one take you 20 days to come up with? My bio says I can't eat dairy. Her bio says she has wired earphones. Okay, we've got a gift of someone eating ice cream. I... What? Is that pistachio or mint? Crap, I just realized you're taunting me. All right, Anita. Listen here, you rat freak. You're subhuman with your broke boy wide earbuds. Not only that I got shooters on every corner, what? You best be looking over your shoulder at all times and making sure you don't get tangled in your headphone cables. Little boy. <gasps> what the frick did you just freaking say about me? You make me laugh, boy. What did the two say to the nine? I don't know, what What did the two say to the nine? Make me laugh, boy. Okay, we've got Matthew here, a bit of a memer, and he says, when you say jump, I'll say how high. And when you say three feet, I'll reply with, that's too high, I, I only have 34 inch verticals. So what I'm really saying is, I hope you're willing to settle for two inches less than you expected. Oh, hey, how are you? I'm not too bad, just back from Amsterdam. You? Oh, that's cool, how did you find it? And good, just finished work. Oh, I just got to the airport and <laughs> and the pilot figured out the way from there. Okay, we've got a speech pathology major. Looking for my right hand man. Okay, I don't see the meme with... Oh, brilliant. Oh, <laughs> Epic. INFP. Airy Sun, Cancer Moon. How about you? GYHW. Star Lord Cthulhu, Diabetes Uranus. What? Oh, I thought we were saying gibberish. A single mom of two, huh? Yes, hm. but it only makes me stronger. Wanna make it a single mother of three? Imagine the gains. Bio said count my freckles and I'll love you. I was able to count roughly two freckles per centimeter squared. We can use an ellipse formula of a times b times pi to get a rough estimate of the surface area of your face. Using this formula, we get 20 divided by two times 30 divided by two times 3.14, which is approximately 471 centimeters squared. Now, obviously there's a large flaw in the formula since a, your face is a three-dimensional surface, and B, your freckles do not cover your entire face. So let's assume that a sixth of your face is covered. If that is accurate, then we could calculate that there are approximately 78.5 times two equals 157 freckles on your face. Hi, I love you. Dear men of Tinder, owning a house isn't a personality trait. Listing the countries you've been to isn't a personality trait. Having abs isn't a personality trait. Owning a dog, however, is a personality trait though. What's its name? I love it. Can I sniff your butt? No. Oh, sorry, my dog sent that. You want to meet him? <laughs> yes. I send a doodle pic and we can frick. Alright. Here he is. Okay. In office 2001 to 2009, so it's a long one. Fetishizing my culture and ignoring my joke? Uh, so last night, I got mugged by six dwarves. Not happy. I've never been with an Asian girl. Maybe we can change that. I've never been with someone who's ignored my quality dad joke. Hey, uh, nice bio, but just curious about what makes you a cool loser. I'm cool because I've got a cute girl asking me about my Tinder bio. I'm a loser because I don't have a good follow-up. Want to hold hands? I'm not looking for a one-night thing either. Maybe three minutes, max. I don't know, three minutes is a little long. I can cut it down to two if you're strapped for time. I can fit three minutes. The real question is, can you fit six inches? I'll try my hardest. That's good, because you only need to fit three. We never got coffee. Do you think love is a real thing? Oh, absolutely. I don't think anything is real. Everything is a construct of my diseased mind. I'm alone in my head. Wanna get coffee? Let's get coffee. Hmm. Hey, caramel woman. 
Hey mayonnaise man. <laughs> cancer isn't my star sign, but it sure is my health status. Wait, do you actually have cancer? Yes. Well, let me tell you, you put the cans in cancer. My first ever Tinder date pulled a set of D&D dice out of his pocket and said, you know I keep that motherfucking thing on me. But Gloria, you know I'm straight, so is spaghetti, until it gets wet. So, will you go out with me? I'm sorry, but I'm sapiosexual. Sapio what? What? I'm only attracted to intelligent people. That's okay, I can understand. We all crave for the things that we don't have. <laughs> Top or bottom? Middle. Sometimes jungle. Never met anyone whose name rhymes with mine. Pine. I eat this on the first date. I usually just eat dinner. You hear the one about the airplane? No. Eh, it'd probably go over your head. I'm pretty smart. Try me. Dot dot dot. I'm doing a TikTok of pickup lines from guys in each state, so give me your best line. Roses are red. I own just one cat. You're a 6 out of 10, but I'd still hit that. If I send you feet pictures, will you send me 50 pounds? Feet not really my thing. Do you know anyone who likes feet? Thought you girls loved feet as you're always demanding more than six of them. Want to hear a pickup line? Yeah, sure. Are you a hen? Because you are exactly what I'm looking for. Well, I consider myself more an egg because I'm looking to get laid. What? Oh, come on. Be my boyfriend. Okay. Girls, when they see my Tinder profile, the fastest left in the West. Girls be like, shoot your shot, then be playing D1 defense. Hey, cutie, what's up? Not much, just studying this dialect of Japanese called Sugundis. So sick, may I ask why you're studying it? So you can Sugundis nuts. <laughs> How are you single? Years of practice. We are in a time where people must stay at home, where they are forced to write a crappy poem. And while people are isolated in many cities, I'd still like to see your quarren titties. <laughs> I love it. Hell, that's the best thing I've heard in a while. Aw, oh, thank you. But, uh, did, did he get the titties, though? Hey, if you could describe your sex life by a song title, what would it be? Beat it. Do you want a boyfriend? Not really. Perfect. Nice to meet you. Sent the letter E to this girl on ship by accident, but may have come on too strong. E. A. Sports. It's in the game. I think I love you. Yeah, that's a keeper. <laughs> it's me, Mario. When I was four, my brother was half my age. Now I'm 22. How old is he now? 11. Let's have a hard one next time. Imagine being a dog that's just trying to chill at a party and then some girl from a dating app who's fluent in sarcasm spends the entire night aggressively petting you. Finger guns. Sad finger guns. Ah, you'll get him next time, champ. What's up, Olivia? The stars. Wow, you seem to know a lot about space. I wish, lol. Let me see Uranus. <laughs> I don't want my parents to know I'm gay. Do you want to go on a date? Wow, this is wild. They're those kind of parents, huh? Yeah, both my dads are crazy. <laughs> You freaking cute. You talk to your mother with that mouth? No, but I kiss you with this mouth. Yeah, we should frick. Ging, talk about life. <laughs> Also, are you really 9'6", or is that something else? No, I'm actually almost 10 feet tall. It's pretty crazy. Holy crap, that's like a giant. I'm 5'3", so short compared to you. Yeah, I'm literally like double your height. I dig it though, not gonna lie, I like tall guys, lol. Hi, what do you do? That's the big question, isn't it? What do we all do? What's the meaning of life? Why are we here? Well, now you can just say you're unemployed and move on. <laughs> Corona does not affect objects. Thank God I'm a woman. Blessed to be a dishwasher. What's up, cutie pie? Hold me like one of those bottles of wine. By the neck? How did the Japanese Hawaiian say hello? Aroha. Come on. How many crappy openers do you get about your name? Way too many. That's so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. Why is it always Despacito? Nobody wants to hear any other song ever. Wow, this is the first time I've got a super like. <laughs> cool, you just got Tinder then or what? Nope, I've had Tinder for two years. I have train facts. I have a ding dong. Well, I'm just here to give you train facts. And I'm here to give you a ding dong. It seems like we are at an impasse. Much like two trains on a single track. I sexually identify as Michael Jackson. My preferred pronouns are he he. Spoken word, theater, and history enthusiast. Not funny, didn't laugh. Yeah, I'm DTF. Down to finally be in a relationship with someone that understands how many dogs I need around me at all times and supports my dreams. Did you hear about the guy who lost his whole left side of his body? He's alright now. My mama said that if he doesn't like fruit jokes, to let that man go. Turkish? Turkish. Single? Single. Hotel? Oh man, I, she better have finished it right. Looks like I just turned to the right page. Oh, you absolutely have. Although, unfortunately, I've heard that pun a million times. There's no freaking way you just said that. <laughs> oh, they did, Emilio. What makes you want to create a fake account? Jerk move. Why do you think I'm not a real account? You're pretty cute. Because I I tried to frick this girl in real life and it didn't work. <laughs> hey, hey, let's frick. Hey, let's not. After marriage. Wow, don't jump to conclusions. Ha ha ha. That won it back. How are you? Nine. Nine what? Inches. Bye. Away from going on vacation. I'm so stressed. You didn't seem to be the Tinder type. Are you here because of quarantine? Why are you so judgmental? I just asked. I'm not judgmental. A single pick and no bio hence asked. Bio is not needed for beautiful girl. That is why you should have one. <laughs> Hey, I think you're cute as hell, and I'm slowly collecting booty pics from every country during quarantine. Hehe, <laughs> wanna be my Miss Brazil? Ha, <laughs> that's cute. I accept your invitation. Nice. Let me eat you out. I mean, take you out to eat. Ugh, autocorrect. I'll come. I mean, come, of course. Happy Sunday. So what has made you smile this weekend, besides matching with me? I'd say mine is volunteering for the Tim Tebow prom for mental disabilities. I'm headed to Bloomington today, and if my Hoosiers could win, I'm sure that would complete my weekend. Very pretty girl, by the way. Oh, that's super cool, but how's your arm? What do you mean? Oh, I thought you broke it patting yourself on 
on the back. Hey, can I possibly maybe borrow $5? I'll pay you back. Where do you live, Moosehorn? Ho 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 ho! Job link. You like Sydney's photo. I've just removed all the sofas and chairs from my house. Why's that? So you can sit on my face. On my way. Dog emoji. I like your dog. Rover, get back here right now. I told you not to chase after snacks. I'm sorry, you can be a handful. Very disobedient. I'm a terrible Asian. I'm a good driver, not a doctor or lawyer, and the closest thing I got to A's in university was my bra size. I want to be your best friend. Just got friend zone on Tinder. That's new. I'm half thigh, so if you send me a ding dong pic, I might send you one back. My ass got banned on Tinder, but you're sexy AF, huh? Lol, why'd you get banned? Some girl had I need toilet paper in her bio, and I said my mouth doubles as toilet paper. She called me a disgusting pig and reported me. Now I can do all the flirting I want with zero consequences. What are you gonna do? Come over? I believe that sex is opposite of laugh, because laugh is ha ha ha, while sex is ah ah ah, Lamau. If you want to experience tornado blowjob, PM me. Tornado blowjob? What the f what is that? Face down, ass up. That's the way I get the skittle that rolled under my couch. Understandable. If you're reading this, you've been in a coma for almost 20 years now. We're trying a new technique. We don't know where this message will end up in your dream, but we hope we're getting through. Lol. Oh well. So you want to hang out? Dude, I don't know how much more clear I can be. No, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Stay home. WTF? Why are you on here then? There is no pandemic. There isn't even a virus. Uh. This poem to you, Lily, might seem rather silly, for we are miles apart, and that may break our heart. However, I feel kind of lucky, as you're cute as a ducky. Perhaps my mind you'll tease in a bit of conversation, please. Just frick me already. Are you really into BDSM? <laughs> I meant like, let's play some games where I can suggest some movies or shows. I am into BDSM though, how did you know? Your bio, and I'm down for that. I'm also down to be tied up in your dungeon, lol. Haha, <laughs> what? I don't mention BDSM in my bio. Well, Dungeon Master gave it away, at least so I thought. Now I realize that may be a game reference. <laughs> that's the person who runs Dungeons and Dragons. I'm pretty, you're pretty, let's go home and stare at each other. You got one thing right. Ooh, self-burn. Those are rare. Titanic. Titanic. Titan. Tita. Tit, yes, please. <laughs> that is not where I intended for this to go. Well, I did, but not that fast. Damn it, it must be pretty rewarding working in a dementia home. That's an amazing thing to do. I love my job. Very blessed. The nicest residents. Yeah, I bet. How long have you been doing it? Three years. Damn, it must be pretty rewarding working in a dementia home. That's an amazing thing to do. It is, but it can be very exhausting, to be honest. It's worth it, though. <laughs> Come on. Damn, girl, you a Minecraft block? Because I dig you. Noice. Are you lava? No. Why? Because you're going to make me lose all my stuff. Wow. I... You want to play Minecraft together? Yes. Damn, baby girl, you cute as hell. Sorry, that was douchey. Let me try again. Wow, my lady, you are the most wonderful lady I've ever seen. Okay, those are the extremes. I'm somewhere in between. Lamau, I'm drunk. Goodbye. <laughs> Honestly, might be some of my favorite messages I've received on this app. Question. What weighs more, a gallon of water or a gallon of butane? They weigh the same. A gallon is a gallon is a gallon. What you got next? Danny, 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 the gallon of water weighs more. Butane is a lighter fluid. I know what butane is, lol, but a gallon is a gallon? Is it not? <sighs> Hey there, I was gonna make a pun about your name, but I figured every guy must do that. Lamal, they do. They are not well seasoned when it comes to these pickup lines. Nice. Nine in ten real women would recommend Dave to a friend. David. <laughs> nice. You said dog pics, right? That is so precious, thank you. To quote John Wick, I have served, I will of service. Will be. Damn it, I fricked up. The effort was there, that's what matters most. Usually girls don't tell me that after we've slept together, but then I still get ghosted. That's so sad, I'm sorry. Just kidding, I don't have sex. Alright, let's take roll here. Jay Quellen? Is Jay Quellen here? Uh, you mean Jacqueline? I'm going to throw you out the guy window. <laughs> What would you do if we were together right now? Eat nugs, obviously. And then... Eat the fries. It's a whole meal, Quinn. Then what will you eat? Well, that depends. If I got the apples with my Happy Meal... Apples. Oh, come on. You got an Instagram, Quinn? Hi, Jen. I'm Ben. Hi, Ben. I'm Jen. Nice to meet you, Jen. Do you want to be my friend? I'd love to be your friend, Ben. You seem like a solid 10. <laughs> a match made in heaven. I'm like a mosquito, except I don't stop sucking when you slap me. Oh, my. Do you want to hear an absolutely terrible pickup line? Absolutely. Did you hear they're remaking the movie Freddy Got Fingered? Rumor has it you and I are starring. I can't wait till production resumes. Without the male lead, it's a pretty one-sided story about a girl and her fingers. Pick a topic, I'll make a pickup line. Dragons. Sure, I'll call you Nighthawk, because you'll call me Dragon anyway. I mean, come on, I'll be the best thing you'll ever ride, lol. Okay, I see you. Your turn, pick a topic. Hmm, Spider-Man. My spidey senses are the only thing tingling right now. <laughs> okay, I am 100% down for an Animal Crossing date. I'm still grinding, though, so I suggest the first date to be on your island, and I'll bring some stuff over. Sounds like a plan. What's your friend code? Nice. I have to wake up pretty early tomorrow, so I guess I'll be turning on two alarms tonight. Pimples? Zero. Blackheads? Zero. Chances of getting a match even with Tender making the passport feature free for all? Zero. What's your current quarantine fantasy? For it to frickin' end. When I laugh, my boobs jiggle, so if you're funny, we both win. <laughs> a smart girl's guide to boys. Conversation starters. I wish they'd teach us more about Vikings. I wish they'd teach us more about Vikings. What the frick? Beautiful, amazing, unique, alluring, brilliant, passionate, breathtaking, but enough about you. I eat.
Well, are you one of those people who believe the hype and are scared of the virus? Lol. Uh, yeah, I have multiple nurse friends and I'm immune suppressed. Lol, no germs, please. Lamau, I don't have germs. Damn, chill. I'm chilling. Never mind, I was gonna ask you to hang out, but you're one of those weirdo types. <laughs> I'm not weird, dude. Do you think the CDC is just wildin'? All the nurses and doctors that are struggling at work just to keep up are lying? Where's this going? Nowhere, because you're a dumb. <laughs> so, you like books? Name one author. Oh, frick. Um, there's King Author. He pulled a sword out of a rock. So, did you set your location to Edinburgh or. Because I'm bored. Why Edinburgh? You know so much about Scotland? Nope. You know what this is? Nope. Me carrying this conversation. See, this is the original material I've been looking for. Well played. Thank you, thank you. I bet you won't see the next one coming. I probably won't, but hit me with it. One. Huh? Lamau well, what? I knew you wouldn't see that one coming. Does your last name rhyme with fruit swirl? No, it does not. Huh. That's weird, because you look like a very cute girl. They weren't lying when they said the devil is attractive. Sometimes she does get ready. Well, she's still cute. She said thank you. And that she sighed. Well, tell her if she doesn't want to be a devil anymore, she could get some Jesus anytime. That's the best pickup line ever. I would straight up give you my virginity if you asked for it. Which of the three options is more suited for you? One, I am a bot and I don't chat here often. Two, I match with you by accident and I will never reply to your message. Three, I will chat with you no matter what. I would appreciate your soonest reply, Greta. Three, please tick this box to prove you are not a robot. Have to be sure, you know. Um, what? Did you really try to tick the box with your finger? Maybe. Well, she's real. Tinder should add a remind me later option for those profiles you can't decide. How often does someone kick it off by saying you're their favorite season? Hmm, I'd say I'd probably get a name pun 65% of the time. Are they all bad puns? Or would you say some are good? Nice. Hi there. So you cute as hell. I'm trying to get nudes from all 50 states during quarantine. Lol, would you be my Miss Washington? Lamau. Sure. Julia. I was hit by a truck once. <laughs> Jesus. Terrible opener, but wow, I didn't see your arm until just now. Not to be weird, but my sister has a con congenital limb deficiency too. Her right arm. Is she single? Does she want to split a pair of gloves? Is there actually a rivalry between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan? No, it's not at all. But have you inferior potassium than Kazakhstan? Lol, how do you know that little known facts? I watched a great documentary on the powerhouse of Central Asia that is Kazakhstan. Do you study something related to this? No, just really interested in potassium. Did you know that potassium is the second biggest industry in Kazakhstan after prostitution? You're at the store shopping, going about your business, getting your favorite food. You see me in the distance, my arm filled with limes. I walk past you and stumble, spilling all of my limes. My face burns bright red as I scramble on the ground, fumbling to pick up my limes, but to little avail and continue dropping them. You, being the good soul you are, bend down and assist me. I nervously laugh and say, sorry, I'm bad at pickup limes. <laughs> Marry me, please. This one time a Persian guy tried to fight me. A Persian guy tried to fight you? Yeah, you know what I did? What? I ran. What do you mean? Blocker. Pros. I am open to sharing my Netflix account. Can tie cherry stem into knot with my tongue. Is a model. Can eat 30 chicken nuggets in one sitting. Cons. Uses sarcasm as a defense mechanism. Will most likely steal your sweatshirts. Nocturnal. Will eat 30 chicken nuggets in one sitting. If you can't find Waldo in 10 minutes, you have to give me head. It's 11.40. Yeah, well, they found him. You have Netflix? Yep, I need something new to watch. I know some good horror movies if you're down for it. Yes, please. Horror movies are my favorite kind of movie. What do you recommend? Tomorrow after 7 at your place? And Insidious. Lamal, whoa, hold up. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to be isolated in quarantine. We're supposed to be social distancing, bro. Dang. But I'll give you credit. I like the bold approach. Huh? I was just letting you know a good place in time for you to watch it alone. My dog has three legs, and so do I. Ah. If you can make a girl laugh and giggle, you can make her cheeks clap and jiggle. <laughs> Find someone who cares about you as much as Gmail cares about new devices signing into your account. Hey, cutie. Hello, I'm Joe. I like stuff and do things. Read my bio. Do you have cash up? Already read it. And I do. But I'm too physically responsible and not desperate enough to send a stranger money. Also, hub. Hi there. Hey, so 18? 17 actually. Yeah, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. Okay, that's your decision. I mean, it's the federal government's decision too, so... Farts push the poop, but if the poop isn't girthy enough, they get out without the poop. Duh. Frick, you're wise. What else are you good at? Baby making and Animal Crossing. Well, you better be good. I don't frick with hose in depth to Tom Nook. Frickin' raccoon is a swindler. So, iron worker, is that like a welder? Yeah, nice. How do you enjoy that? Pin in the ass at times. I bet it's really difficult to be honest. At times. So, what do you like to do for fun? Work. No hobbies? Shooting. Oh, I've always wanted to try that. It's fun. Unlike this conversation. Must be minimum six feet. Sorry. Not height, just distance. For now. They had us in the first half, not gonna lie. Name a topic and I'll do a pickup line. Watermelon. If I was a watermelon, would you spit or swallow my seed? Swallow. In my coochie. So your name is a palindrome, which leads me to the question, do you like it better forwards or backwards? Personally, I like it better forward, because Hannah just looks wrong. You got plans tonight? I'm thinking we can get together, split a bottle of Slivovitz, and make some mistakes. I never make mistakes. Sorry. You swiped right on me, so you've made at least one. <laughs> nice ass. If the script were flipped and I opened with nice tits, Quarter says I would be unmatched. Frick 
Mary Kill, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Frick Theodore, he thick. Mary Simon, he smart. Kill Alvin, Alvin never impressed me. You know how you can tell the sex of an ant? How? You place them in water. If it sinks, it's a girl ant, but if it floats. My roommate thought that was hilarious. Can I have a roommate's number then? What is the first thing you notice about someone? Usually if they've got any leftover spinach in their teeth. What's your favorite thing about yourself? How I don't have any leftover spinach in my teeth very often. Do you eat a lot of spinach? Not really. That's why I don't have leftover spinach in my teeth very often. In a relationship, but looking to cheat as my boyfriend has corona and is in isolation for two weeks. Oh. Law student, eh? Have you studied Cole's Law yet? Oh my god, no I haven't. Explain. You're in for a treat. Cole's Law is a side dish consisting primarily of finely shredded raw cabbage with a salad dressing. Commonly either vinaigrate or mayonnaise? Unmatched. That escalated quickly. Happy Easter. Exchange nudes? <laughs> It's an Easter tradition, don't you know? It's what Jesus would have wanted. I don't remember that being in the Bible. You need to get a better Bible. What Bible do you have? Kama Sutra. I only go for psychopaths. This might not work out. Oh, sorry, I'm more of a sociopath myself. Oh, crap, this could work. Sorry, I was in the shower. Still craving attention? Low key, yeah. You know, social distancing is only six feet, though, right? Not 85 miles. Too bad we can't be zero feet apart, or negative six inches apart. <laughs> I match with my ex's dad on a dating app, and I can't tell you how bad I want to date him just so I can show up to a family event. Who's your mommy? <laughs> hey. Hi. Wow, first time I haven't been the initiator. Something special about me? You're so cute. I was just thinking the same about you. I'm pretty, you're pretty. Let's go home and stare at each other. Hit me with the joke. It's a knock-knock joke, but you have to start it. Knock-knock. Who's there? Oh, Frick. Frick who? Me? We're a good match. Hey, Cameron, are you super bored like me, or are you working full-time? I'm working. Oh, okay, well, bye. Good luck. You're not even cute, dude. Try to unmatch you, but it's too much effort. You've got a weird standard in terms of what you put effort into. One time in elementary school, playing kickball, the pitcher told everyone to move back, and I still haven't received a better compliment. I may not be the prettiest or the funniest, but I'll gag on your ding-dong with full intent of killing myself, so what more do you want? Down for a mega cheesy pickup line? Heh, <laughs> shoot. Oh my. Alright, but for real, I have a good one now. What's the difference between a wasp and a bee? What? A wasp is mean and aggressive, whilst a bee is sweet and cute. Oh my god. Okay, that was a pretty good one, though. You liked Ali's photo. Listen, if this doesn't work out, my sister also thinks you're cute. Condom commercials should just be a live feed of couples trying to enjoy a decent meal at a restaurant with their kids. <laughs> when you get a new match notification, but she immediately unmatched you. All right, then keep your secrets. Do you want to know what my second favorite dinosaur is? I'm assuming it's my first favorite dinosaur. Are you assuming it's a Triceratops? Of course I am. So do you want to know what my favorite is then? Yes, please. It's actually in the same family as a Triceratops, the smaller, lesser known Triceratopsus. I'm a b I'm a lover. I'm Hulk Hogan. Hey there, brother. <laughs> I just noticed your name is an anagram for the word admire, which means when you find something pleasant or attractive to look at, you admire it. Isn't that admire? I was going to give you the D later and that's 10 points to Tinder guy. I mean, I've always wanted to live out my Grey's Anatomy fantasy. <laughs> It's very feasible, you know, if you're interested. I think the fact that I'm getting insanely turned on right now is a sign I'm interested. Okay, perfect. Night is better, when are you on? Or you know, you can always page otherwise. Also, you're hot. I'm two beers, but you're objectively very hot, so thank you. You're welcome. She referred to herself as a small titty Asian in her bio, and the rest just fell into place. Never knew how badly I wanted a small titty Asian GF until now. I gotta get me Sami that. This freaking guarantees you a date. You match with Cassandra, and she's gotta say, Hey babe, say porcupine if you're real. <laughs> porcupine. Say porcupine if you want to smash me. Porcupine, porcupine. Hope you like a nice micro penis. Yum. <laughs> I bet I could scare you off in two words. Try me. I'm bald. Hey, it worked. I'm now 1 0. Hey, it's two bears waving at each other. I can barely contain how much I like this so far. Yeah, your gift could have been polarizing. I'm still on the fence about yours. Oh, now you're trying to make waves. Just seeing if I can shake things up a bit. You're certainly making a splash. I feel like I should come over because the grass looks greener over there. Only if you're bare naked. I'll be naked, but you'll have to bear with me. I'm already soaking wet. Will you be my bare naked lady? I'll be a honey. I'll be a Pooh Bear. You know, even if you wave me off later, this is still the best pun exchange I've been a part of. Same. Definitely r slash Tinder material. I never thought I'd make it. I'll let you have the karma if you'd like then. Oh, a gentleman. Of course, my lady. I smell like beef. I'm a vegetarian. I smell like beef substitute. Nice. You match with Tyler. I hope you're not offended if I say you look like you give amazing blowjobs. <laughs> That's funny. I thought the exact same thing when I saw your picture. Hell yeah, get him, Tyler. Go get him, Tyler. <laughs>
Well, I've always wanted to be a teacher's pet. You have to impress me first. Not to brag, but I read at a ninth grade level and almost always stay in the lines. Hmm, not bad. You're slowly working your way up to one of my favorites. I've also got access to many apples. But the thing is, I actually like sweets. That could be arranged. I've got quite a bit of ice cream if you'd like to come over sometime. Just trying to help you live your best life, blank. I'm already living it. At your house, though? It's actually a very tasteful box downtown. Don't worry, though. I recently reinforced the sides. What does this mean? I'm very passionate about the environment, so I'm trying to lower my carbon footprint. I think it's our responsibility to set a better standard for coming generations. But how do? It's a literal box. No heating, no cooling. Occasional cat visitor, come see it sometime. Like homeless? It's 2019, Blank. We don't home shame anymore. Hmm, it's a question. Forgot to add the question mark. Are questions allowed in 2019? I'll allow it, but I have to be honest. This was all a clever ruse. I live in a normal apartment. It was my hope that through the magic of satire, I could show you how one should keep an open mind about another person's home. Now that we've all learned a lesson, would you like to come over for that ice cream sometime? I don't want your old ice cream in your normal apartment. Ask me out on a date. For sure. Would you like to go downtown? I know this great spot. Okay, where would that be? A literal box. Based on my calculations, you look cute as frick. Your calculator is missing a subtraction action sign. There's nothing I'd take away from that statement. Aw, oh, crap, that was good, LMAO. Came across this. What a chat. Ninja, 28. Six foot one, but it's tender, so I'm gonna go with six foot four since everything is bigger online. I'm also about 280 pounds. Not here for real hookups, blah, blah, blah. Real man, blah, blah, blah. I've gone balls deep at a handful of females with such profiles. You next? My fur kids come first. Every mom on Tinder. I have an ex's lips tattooed on my inner arm which shows you how wild and impulsive I am. Nice guys finish last, bad boys finish on a face. No way he's such a D-bag. <laughs> I am. I really want to get a BJ. What's that? Have you ever given head? What does that mean? Have you ever sucked a guy's wiener? What is that? Have you ever smashed? I've never heard of that word before in my entire life. You match with oil on 53019. Said crudes. Has cute photos that show her whole body. Has interesting bio and seems like an overall fun person. Has cash app at the end of bio. What? Has cash app at the end of bio? Wrap it up, boys. <laughs> Drunk, huh? Don't tell the cops. I already did. Sad. Not the people I wanted to handcuff me tonight. Oh my god. Yeah, my dad was really excited for our dungeon time tonight. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, how's your day been? Bored, spent the day petting my kitty. You're petting your cat? Mm-hmm, it's so wet. Did your cat fall into water? I'm fondling myself. I'm playing with my coochie. <laughs> So you're telling me there's no cat? I wish we could go to a movie together, but they won't let me bring my own snack. Don't get it twisted, Ben. I am the whole dang meal. Dang, I like it. I mean, honestly true though, so I'm definitely not sneaking you into a movie in my pocket. You're putting me on the countertop and eating me. Deal. In the future, when you're my wife and I die, I want you to mix my ashes up in a spicy chili and eat it just so I can tear that butt up one last time. Someday, when I am your wife and you die, I'll mix your ashes up in a spicy meat chili and feed it to a fat homeless man that parties like Chris Farley, so that even in death, you're experiencing a full-blown crap show. And then I'll laugh, while sipping a cold beer on a beach somewhere, enjoying myself spending the life insurance money. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Noelle says she don't like movies, lol. Ah, shucks. They're too long, hard of me to pay attention. Well, if you don't like things that are too long, I'm just the guy for you. Perfect. Hell, <laughs> lady. <laughs> Hey, if I was naked in front of you right now, what would you do to me? As for consent, because we respect women. Is that meme dead yet? Emotionally unstable with an American accent. Perfect. Next time I'm in LA, I'll be sure to take you out on a horrible date that you'll regret. It better be the worst date ever. I won't come. I'll tell you about how you look like my first girlfriend when I was 16 and how much I miss her. Please tell me you spend the entire time talking about it and don't ask me anything. And eat my food. You're gonna ask me to try some of mine, and I'll say you should have ordered it if you wanted some. Do you generate electricity with water through the process of hydropower? Because damn. Giraffe, 19 years old. R slash giraffes don't exist is wrong. I do exist. Believe in the propaganda. It's all good, sweetheart. You don't have to worry about me. Sweetheart? Is it okay if I call you that? You can call me anything you like. Okay, Optimus Prime. Sweet! Triplets. Knew I still got it. Hope they don't tell each other. We got Shauna, Isabella, and Donna. Looking the exact same. And one of them's on Tinder Boost. Sheila, 62. Hi, I'm Sheila. I just recently got divorced, so my daughter helped me set this up. Mostly just looking for friends and fun people to be around. Screw 
two gram. Hey, are you a cigarette? Let me guess. Because I'm smoking? Or because I'm a life-threatening object that's been normalized by society? <laughs> nah, because I want to get you lit and put your butt in my mouth. Got him. Chop my hair. Now I'm trying to find the seven inches I'm missing. Hmm. We might need to wait a month before we go out. Oh, why so long? Need your hair to grow an inch because I'm only bringing six. You know what? That's fair. Ari's 25. Yes, I am pregnant, but I'm still very fun. I'm looking for quick hookups with guys or girls. I'm very horny all the time. If you're a guy, I'll let you nut inside. But you're pregnant. Hey, this is my cat. I just had to show someone. He is freaking awesome. He's so cute. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how many times he's gotten me dates on here. Go ahead and guess. Zero. Yeah, you're right. I guess I'm gonna have to put him down. Wait, wait what? <laughs> <laughs> Leah, is your iTunes working? I don't know where this line is going, but yes, it's working. Sweet. Mine's saying you're the hottest single of the week. Well, then you must be the Billboard Hottest 100 list because I want to get on top of you. But doom -tsh. 10 points to Tinder guy. He did it again. Jason, 40 years old. Had a date with one of you who got drunk before I picked her up. Made fun of me for grabbing a flower from the gas station before picking her up. Asked a lesbian if she was a man. Hit a mini golf ball into a crowd. Spilled her beer. Hit me with a putter twice. Text me after I dropped her off that I'm bald, fat, and uneffable. And she was texting someone else to come F her right now. So I'm pretty much looking for the opposite of her. Oh, and please have some free time for dating. Thanks. Poor Jason. Clara, 21. I'm like a microwave. Easy to turn on, warm inside, and if you put a baby in me, I'll kill it. Seriously though, just having some fun. Lauren, 21, an arms dealer. That's the first one. Hands down the best catch on Tinder. Face, 10 out of 10. Body, 9 out of 10. Personality, 20 out of 10. Arms, 1 out of 2. Badoom. That's two for two, Lauren. Two for two. Pick the following options. Cheesy pickup line. Interesting fact. Filthy pickup line. Recipe. B. Vikings used the bones of slain animals when smithing new weapons, believing this would enchant the weapon with the animal's spirit. This actually made the weapon stronger because the carbon in the bones coupled with the iron made a primitive version of steel. Can I pick another option? No, you can't, actually. Shrek 4 on DVD to logic style. <laughs> what? Aw, oh, frick. I'm bad at those, but I'll do my best. Are you free this weekend? What day? Whatever day is good for you, beautiful. This is a make or break, but how tall are you? Six foot one. Okay, you pass. I'm five foot seven. Guess I'll be getting stuff off of the top shelf. So in the spirit of being fair, this is a make or break for me. Of course. How much do you weigh? Wow, that's a make or break. It's only fair. Mackenzie, 22. Looking for a babysitter. Can't sit a baby, but can sit on your face. Nice. Working hard or hardly working, that's Danielle, 22 years old, at Simpson College, living in Kansas City. Let's match, talk for a bit, add each other on Snapchat, snap for about a week, then watch each other's stories with no other interaction until we die. Just like God intended. You know, 50 Cent Frosties are back at Wendy's, and guess who has one dollar? I'm vegan. Alright, I'll keep my meat to myself then. It's not just meat, bro, it's dairy products too. Alrighty, then you can't suck on my titties either. <laughs> <laughs> no milk for you. Tinder, you new here? Me, making an account for the 65th time. Not exactly. Boys, if you are struggling with depression or anxiety, I just want to show you my sincerest regrets and encourage you to talk to someone. My ex just committed suicide. Masculinity and this feigned fearlessness are hammered into you all from such a young age, and it can keep you trapped in suffering. Your feelings are real and powerful. You aren't alone, so don't suffer alone. Support each other, speak up, be brave enough to get the help you deserve. Solutions, happiness, and love are out there for you. And that's a fact, Jack. Looking for a girl who's down to come over and microwave household items for me. Please, only serious inquiries. I have eight different bars of soap and some Hot Wheels I'm eager to get microwave. Requirements. The curiosity of a cat, a functioning microwave. <laughs> really? Maybe try without a mirror in the background, lol. I mean, you can... You can tell. You didn't even need the mirror in the background. The hair is feathered. I'm home all safe. Thanks again for tonight. Thanks for letting me know. It was great to meet you. <laughs> it was great to meet you too. Hello. I hope you're feeling good today. Thank you for coming last night. I had a good time. I think ghosting is for buttheads, so I think you're a lovely girl, but the chemistry wasn't there for me. I had a good time regardless, and I wish you the best in your future endeavors. Best of luck with your final year of vet. I hope you kick some butt and have an awesome celebration at the end. Hey, that's really good of you to let me know, so thank you for that. Hope you have an amazing trip at the end of the year. That's nice, that's cute. How long do you think should a guy wait before he replies to a match on Tinder? 
I don't know. And that ruins my chat up line. Anyway, how are things, Blank? 2000 RS nude video call. RuneScape? RS? She wants RuneScape dollars! She wants Rune bucks! Get lost! I am not posing nude for that amount of money. I will be nude, not you. Yeah, nude for them RuneScape bucks. My boyfriend broke up with me over text recently, so I think that makes it clear why I'm on here. I will suck the wiener right off your pelvis. Hey, want a pick of my cock? Yes. Hey, look, there it is. It's a chicken. Amazing. Nine and a half inches uncut. Nice. Madison, 19. I want someone to look at me the way I looked at the pizza. Oh, and eat me like that too, please. Cute first date ideas I have. Watching the sunset, eating ice cream and talking about life, taking a leisurely stroll through a nature trail, summoning the dread god Nihilar thought up and combining our powers to defeat him and seal him away in the Shadow Realm forever, finally ending his reign of terror, having a picnic at the beach. I like that first one, honestly. Becca, you match with Becca. I don't play hockey because it's cooler than other sports just because there's so many Canadians. Is that racist? joke only if you think canadian is a race and cool is an insult yes sir you and mysterious old man liked each other it's the mysterious old man from runescape rachel hello rachel i'd like to talk to you rachel rachel talk to me rachel rachel are you there rachel are you there rachel maybe later it's okay mysterious old man you'll find your favorite hottie sadaf same same to what hey would it be for to ask you to make me a sandwich i can only make peanut butter sandwiches so you'll have to deal with that no, I, I mean like sandwich my head between your thighs. Sorry, I had to clarify. Driss, 19. Made in Germany, designed in Afghanistan. So basically I shout Sieg instead of Alubar when I do suicide wings. Yucky, yucky, funny, funny. Hey, you look like you're really sweet or a massive troublemaker. Nah, I'm just sweet, lol. Good answer. What's something you've done before that you'll never do again? Reply to your messages. Ooh! When an electrical engineer meets a computer engineer. Ha, ah, smarty pants. Hot. Does that add to my points? Yeah, but it gets canceled out because you don't live out here. Not gonna argue with that logic since I'm talking to an engineer. Especially one with such an electric personality. Glad you're also logical. Ones and zeros are my game. And I can tell you I am looking at a 10. What a pickup line. That's great. That's cute. So, you're in the military? <laughs> yep, sure am. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your taxes. So, I technically own you, right? Hippity hoppity, my wiener is your property. Impregnate me right now. Why did the sperm cross the road? Why? Because I put the wrong socks on this morning. Ha! <laughs> Get out. Okay. Sloshes out the door, leaving a trail of mayonnaise? Kill yourself. Yay, way, calm it down. Ashley says you're really cute. Glad you think so, let's hang out. What are you looking for on here? I don't know, summer fling? Same. You're hot. I'd do some body shots off you. Haha, <laughs> bet, what you doing tonight? Just chillin'. Should come to the apartment. Smoke if you like that type of thing. And then, ask for consent. Frick, are you trying to turn me on? Cause the hottest thing, folks, is consent, and that is true. That's not even a joke, that's a true fact. Stand out with super like. You're three times more likely to get a match. Three times zero is still zero. Damn, I feel that. Every time I match with a girl on Tinder, I send her the Thanos entering Titan gif, and uh, I never get a good response. I matched with you while I was many miles northbound for a trip. Don't know why I pulled up Tinder during the trip and did swiping. Habit, I suppose? Anyway, although we're nearly 600 miles away, I just thought it might be polite to say that you are a beautiful woman. Don't settle for someone. Hold out for that someone right. You're beautiful, and you know what? People need to be told that sometimes. Have a great weekend. Oh, wow. I needed that. Thank you. What if I told you I was a CS major? I would say you're lying. If Ryan dot equals CS, Julia Living equals false. I wouldn't run that program if I were you. Julia scheduled dot add, new event, coffee date, this week. I know there's a syntax error. I forgot my semicolon. OMG cutie! Yes, let's go to poor house. Aw, that's cute. That's adorable. I love that. Tinder date and pictures. Tinder date in real life. <laughs> Fun fact, tortoises can drink water through their butts. I can get wiener in mine. Rachel, respond to the RuneScape guy. Come on, Rachel. Stop matching other people. Get back to the mysterious stranger. Oh, damn, though. Have W tattooed on both butt cheeks so when I bend over naked, people say, wow. Thanks, Hannah. Solve for X to find your attractiveness on a scale of 1 to 10, where Y equals 2X minus 20. X equals Y divided by 2 plus 10. 